I have no doubt in my mind that future of AI belongs to agentic software. When we say agentic software, what it means is that a type of AI that is designed to act on behalf of a user or organization, making decisions and taking actions autonomously. This type of software is typically equipped with advanced algorithms and data analytics capabilities, enabling it to learn from its environment and adapt to new situations. AI agentic software can be applied in various domains, such as virtual assistants, fraud detection, and predictive maintenance, and has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology and conduct business. One of the most popular framework when it comes to AI agentic software is Autogen. In this video, I will be using Autogen with this new AI agentic observability tool called as Agent Ops. And this is one thing I believe gray area still where we have this awesome frameworks like Autogen to create and build AI agentic software, but we have very little means of introducing instrumentation, observability, monitoring, testing, costing within these AI agents. And that is what this agent ops tool is trying to do in this video we are going to install this AI agent ops on our local system and then we will also embed it within autogen which is as i said one of the best tool to build multi-agent ai applications and then we will also check on the dashboard of this agent ops as what it looks like the system which I'm going to use for this demo is very generously sponsored by Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus I'm going to put also a discount um, coupon, which will give you 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Before we start the video, I would recommend you to go to this agentops.ai. I will also drop the link to their website in video description. Sign up with your email address for a free account and then grab the API. So once you sign in, just click on this dashboard and you will be presented with this screen. On the bottom left, you will see settings here. Click on the settings. And then from here, we have project and API keys and you can copy your API key from here. So you would need this API key, which we'll be using for this demo. Also, you can use any LLM with Autogen, but for the purpose of this video to speed things up, I'm just going to go with OpenAI. So you would also need an OpenAI API key from platform.openai.com. So once you have these two keys, let's go to our local system. And this is the VM I'm running, Ubuntu 22.04. And this is one NVIDIA GPU card sponsored by Mass Compute RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Another thing I would highly suggest you to have is Conda, which keeps everything separate and nice and clean. I already have it. If you don't know what Conda is, how to install it, just please search the channel and you should be able to do it very easily. Let's create a Conda environment and then I will activate it. I'm simply calling it Agent Ops. Let's wait for it to get created and then we will enter into that Agent Ops. As you can see, it is shown in the left hand side in the parenthesis. Let me clear the screen. Now there are only two prerequisites which you need to install. One is a PyAutogen and the other one is AgentOps and simple do pip install and this will get installed very, very quickly. And that is another good thing about both of these tools is that they are very easy to install, unlike various other software. That is done. Let me clear the screen. And now is the time to set the API keys in the environment. So you see, I'm just setting this environment variable agent ops underscore API underscore key. And of course you will be replacing or putting in your API key between these double quotes. Similarly, make sure to set this open AI's API key to and replace your um, key within these double quotes. So let me set my keys and clear the screen. Okay. So my keys are set. Let's launch Python interpreter and then we will play around with this. First up, let's import some of the libraries like agent ops, autogen, and then I'm also importing the autogen stuff that is done. Let's initialize the session of agent ops with a tag. 
and by the way you can even put your api key within this in it but i prefer it to do an environment variable i'm just calling it the tag as Fahad Mirza. you can replace it with your own application name here so let's initialize this and there you go so our session has started and this is a usual id of this session and you can access your session on this url and we will see it shortly on the dashboard of agent ops let's also import os and grab our llm config this is what is required for autogen we are simply specifying our llm to be used with autogen let's define a conversable agent with autogen and i'm just passing it that configuration and then also give it a user proxy which is just to chat with llm as a user and it's a simple proxy agent and that is all done and you can simply end your session by passing it end session success and your session will be ended now if you access this url in your browser and let me quickly take you there you will be able to see the instrumentation or observability mat matrix about your session so if i switch over to my browser this is a session here the total elapsed time was just 44 seconds this is a time step session was successful so this gives you a really good idea about your session and this is a session you can recognize about Fahad Mirza this is SDK version this is a run environment what exactly you used and then if there were any errors or anything like that troubleshooting um, or fixing AI agents is very hard if you have deployed any production or even UAT environment of based on AI agentic software you know the pain but with this you can tell what errors occur where they occur and all that stuff and it was a very simple um, agentic play which i did so that is there is not much data there but you can go as complex as you like and i will show you shortly also you can drill down on sessions you can select multiple sessions you see i already played around with it so for example if you want to see your previous session just select this one and then you should be able to see it here so this is the error which occurred last time for me and that is why it ended it and this is one thing that sometimes you will get that session is not working so it, it means any error occurs your session finishes you need to re-establish it and you will get the session state as fail okay so let's go back to a terminal and then let's try out another example okay so because i pressed ctrl c here so that is why it has exited me from here and you see it also even gives you the cost which i really love about it let's clear the screen let's launch our python interpreter again and let's import some of the stuff again the same stuff which i did earlier now in this example what i'm going to do i'm just going to start this session with the tag agentic tools okay it says that a session is already there in that case all you need to do is to simply end the session it is the previous session which is still running and that is done okay so and you can just run this command again and you see that now you get the uuid okay now in this example what i'm going to do i'm just going to do a tools or function calling with it so let's create a simple calculator class or tool so i'm just giving it some of the operator here let's define a simple function calculator you can of course use anything you like as per your own agentic software and then let's create an assistant based on autogen and there you go so it says llm config not defined so that is my mistake now this is where uh, you need to make sure that you restart your session so let me do it again because i forgot to uh, do this llm config and this is one thing i believe that uh, you would need to make sure you implement in your application that error occurs you need to re-establish the session so i have restarted the session and then let's define that function again and then i'm just defining this function simple calculator and let me give the llm configuration here again so this is the one we are going to use let's define our assistant so if you look here what i'm doing is i'm just defining an assistant in the system message and then telling it that it needs to do calculations and then for llm config i'm just passing it that 
gpt4 with my api key which i have already set so let me run it that is done let's also define the proxy agent and the proxy agent is used for interacting with the assistant agent and execute tool calls or function calls if for that matter that is also done let's also register the tool with the assistant and these are all autogen stuff and pretty self-explanatory but still if you don't know what that means please uh, let me know and i will point you to my another video on the channel calculator is registered with the assistant let's also register it with the user proxy that is also done and now um, let's register the calculator function actually to the both of the agents which we are going to use and it's a simple we are just specifying it you can ignore this warning and now let the assistant start the conversation it will end when the user type exit so and this is what we are using here so let me start the conversation here and you see that it has produced a result it is going on 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 and then it is executing the function calls and it has uh, terminated by giving us the result and it has also given us a result and then i have ended my agent op session and you see it has even given me that this much it the whole session which i just did cost me and you can check it out here on this link so let me copy this link and go there and this is our session on the agent ops dashboard as you can see that this is a tag which i gave it so it is easier to understand and then if you scroll down this is where it has uh, told us what where the time went and this is very very handy and then on the right hand side we have llm chat viewer what exactly we did all of it and that is cool i'm just trying to make sure that it didn't um, output our api key which it didn't that is awesome that is what we expect from this tool to not to get our api keys and then here you go so you see um what exactly it did this is amazing so you can even hover around it so this chart shows account for each event type so you, from here you can basically tell which api calls were made so this is a tools call and this is these are to the llms there were six calls and then these were, these were the messages and then repeat thoughts amazing stuff and you can see that what exactly is meant by repeat thought so which is basically when the agent gets stuck in the loop and then this these are the session replay you can just hover around it to see what happened on the right hand side so all in all a very holistic view of your end-to-end -end workflow of your agentic software so you can just hover over it and then it is going to tell you what happened you see for example if i go here it is telling you that what function calls were done amazing amazing stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching